Well, hello there, Tankers of the Blitz universe. I'm Flossie, and this has become one of the best Tier 10 lights to get in the new update. This is, of course, the WZ-132-1, and it did get some changes, like I said. So we'll break into those changes right now and then go into a couple of battles to see how it's performing in this current meta. So what is the first change I'm going to go over? Well, the tank did get improved gear oil, which means your top speed is going to be four kilometers an hour faster forward and in reverse. So this tank is going to be an absolute like lightning bolt. It's, it's going to be so fast and especially pairing it with improved fuel. Uh, yeah, you're going to be able to get up to a top speed very, very quickly in this tank. Another thing that also changed, this tank got more DPM, it got a half a second off of its reload. Now, I do use calibrated shells, so the DPM still isn't anything crazy, but you can see here if you use Rammer, you can get it up to 3350, which is, that's a lot of DPM for a tier 10 light tank, I will say that right now. And the other changes include V-range buffs. Um, it did get a slight penetration nerf, but that's by two millimeters, so it, it's, an, it's not going to make a difference at all. The tank also got a reverse speed buff alongside gear oil, so it used to go 20 in reverse, and now it goes 24, so you're going to be able to hit 28 in reverse, which is so stupid. This thing's mobility is going to be insanely crazy. So, let's jump on into some gameplay in this vehicle. And here we are on Naval Frontier, a pretty solid map for a tank like this, and we're going to see how we can do. Now, up against us, we do have a Progetto, an M48, Sheridan, and a couple of other heavy tanks that I do want to be careful of. So, in this sort of battle, I'm going to be very cautious. However, I am going to go mid and spot up, hopefully, the 60 TP and any other heavies that decide to go there. So that's my main goal on a map like this is obviously spot the crossing early, get a couple of shells in to the enemies like that 50 TP and possibly the 60 and then uh, back up and run away. So you can see here, do get one shell into the 50 TP, but I do miss the second one. So I'm just going to keep holding this, this angle though. I don't think I'm spotted anymore. And this tank is also super strong because of the mechanic it has. You are only going to be spotted for 7 seconds instead of the normal 10. And you can see the eyeball icon above the tanks that have spotted you. So it's, it's insanely useful. Like you can see the 60 has spotted me. And I know that just because of the eyeball that's above his vehicle. So now I know to not poke. And that's huge in a light tank is knowing when you don't want to poke. Uh, that's going to save you in so many situations here. You can see the WZ is YOLOing, which is very interesting there. And um, we need this WZ to like move out of my way here. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, yo, we actually got a bounce in this tank. What? The armor on this tank is horrible. Like, getting a bounce like that from a tank, <laughs> any tank, really, it's kind of funny. Um, but we are hopefully able to make our way over to the 60 and pick up the kill on this guy. Very nice stuff. And the M48 is not doing too well. So I'm going to make my way towards their balcony right here to try to shoot out this M48 before he does run away. And we get a nice tracking shell for 450 damage max roll. Um, you can see the alpha on this tank is super, super nice. Uh, like you're able to out trade with a lot of people. And um, it just makes for an overall very fun experience. Like, this tank is just super, super fun to play. We're just giving it more mobility overall. Just made it even better. Like, <laughs> it's so stupid how quick this tank is now. You can see here, we're now on top of the, uh, I don't even know what to call this, balcony area. And we're just basically going to farm out this WZ here. The Progetto dies, and all that's left is pretty much three tanks. Uh, basically two, because this guy gave up. But uh, there we go. You can see here, I am now going to try to use my mobility to get over to this Sheridan before he does get cleared. And we'll see if I can do any more damage this game. Come on, Sheridan, YOLO this way. Yes, hello. Oh, yes. There we go. We do actually break ourselves over 3,000 damage with that uh, with that kill there. Or not kill, that shot. Um, yeah, you can see the WZ is really, really good in a lot of situations, especially a weird battle like that where the enemy team is super split. I was able to kind of flank around the map a ton, and wow, we actually got a first class, bro. What? <laughs> okay. 1,100 base XP is a first class. Very interesting. All right. Let's get into our next battle.
And we are on Normandy. Bro, we have the same tune on my team as well. What the heck, bro? All right, well, uh, this should be a good game for the WZ. N map like Normandy, you can really use the camo rating of light tanks and even the view range because this tank did get view range buff. So, uh, yeah, you can use those things to your advantage, really. And it depends on where the team goes, but I am going to go mid myself here. And I'm going to take this early game spotting position uh, just to get, again, some early game spots into the enemy players there. So, that's exactly what we're going to do. I'm going to make my way to the bush, and we'll see who we spot. Now, in a bush like this, you don't want to stay here for too long. You can see I have been detected by the T-100, so I am going to back off, because I'm not trying to get shot at by a WZ-113 GFT or a Minnow or any other camping tank, because there are a lot of TD bushes that overlook this position here, so... I'm going to back off, make sure I'm unspotted, but then I'm going to go back because, of course, not a lot of their team has been spotted. So I'm really interested to see where more of their team is. Now, what it seems like is that their team is all going mid. So I'm just going to play careful now. T100 did get a lucky bounce with, from my shell, but, uh, you know, <clears throat> it is what it is. In this sort of situation, I almost want to push hard right. Um... But I'm still worried about their TDs. I, I don't know where the TDs are. Well, there's the minnow. Okay, that's good. At least that guy's spotted. Oh my god, bro. What is this E6 doing? Hello? Hello? E6? What are you doing, bro? <laughs> my friend. My friend. Chill, 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 chill. Man is like trying to HEV too, which is super funny. So, I'm just going to... Bro, wait. He's just getting low rolls. What? This guy is getting so unlucky right now. But, I mean, I'm just going to out-DPM this guy. Obviously, we have more DPM than him, so I am not worried about fighting him, and we light him on fire and kill him. That was a very confusing play by that guy right there. I don't really know what he was trying to do, and this T-100 is going to die as well. There we go. So, I mean, you can see I'm still playing super passive. Like, that E6, the only reason he was able to shoot me was because he completely YOLO'd my tank. In a light tank like this, obviously, you don't want to bleed your HP, but in that sort of situation, I was willing to take the trade with the E6 to get him completely out of the game, as I knew I could have easily won, or I knew I could easily win that uh, situation there. So, let's see here. Can I, like, pixel snipe this dude in the hatch? Yes, I can. Oh, yes. Incredible stuff. And the minnow bounced me. Even better. All right, well, let's get a kill. Oh, my God, bro. Oh, my God, dude. Really? Really? Okay, now let's get the kill on the minnow. There we go. <laughs> Incredible. Um, Let's see if this WZ is going to... He's going to keep poking me, isn't he? All right, well. Hmm. He does shoot, so now it's my chance to kind of get a shell into him. Bro, the minnow's gun blocked my shell. Oh my god, dude. Let's see here, WZ actually is uh, kind of clueless, I'm not going to lie. Let's see if I can just get a couple more shells into him here. I don't want to get shot at by that T92, but he seems like he's occupied with another player, so I should be fine here. Let's get another shell into you, and now I'm going to make my way behind this cover here so the T92 doesn't shoot at me. All right, there we go. Um, you know what? I'm just going to jump down. Why not? Here we go. Let's see if I can help this uh, 183 out. Bro, where did that shell go? Nice one. Nice one, Wargaming. Uh, but yeah, I mean, you can see the nice DPM on this tank really helps in farming enemy players like this poor WZ here. Um, bro can't really do much about me, and that's that. All that's left, well, nothing. <laughs> There's nothing left. It's uh, It's over. Four kills, 4,100 damage dealt. A very, very solid game showcasing what this tank can do on a map like Normandy, where you, the enemy team is pretty much just camping in mid, and you have to figure out a way to farm them in the sides. So there we go. Do ace the tank with 4,000 damage right there. And um, yeah, overall, pretty, pretty good battle there. And for our final battle, we are on Himmelsdorf, which is a pretty awful map in some ways, and then a pretty great map in other ways for light tanks. Um, it really depends on how we can do a mid to end game. If the teams end up killing off a lot of each other's heavy tanks and it becomes an end game scenario, then this tank will be very good on this map. But if my team just gets obviously pushed on like on heavy side and there's a couple TDs sitting on med side in the back, then this is gonna be a very troll and kind of tragic battle because I can't really push in this tank. Like, there's, there's no, like, pushing power in this vehicle at all. You're really reliant on your team taking the brunt um, initial brawl, and then you can farm off the damage 
um, farm off of their HP and their damage there. So, let's see what we spot here. There's the Leo. Hello, Leo. What's up, bro? I'm going to pop my Adrenaline here. Maybe I can get another shell into him. Ah, he moved, though. That's sad. Oh, well. I don't know if he is. Our T-54 is playing super, super aggressive here. I'm just worried about their TDs. Like, I feel like this is not a good play. But, you know what? It is what it is here. Oh, my God. Yeah, there it is. Let's see if I can, like, just kill off this Leo real quick here. There we go. And... Probably gonna get shot at once by this guy, but I'm just gonna wiggle back and forth using my good mobility. We do actually get a troll uh, miss from that guy, like his gun trolled him there. Very nice. So, let's see. Okay, you get shot at by our T-54. Oh man. Okay, so this game is a bit sus. Uh, their TDs are doing what they, what I was hoping they weren't gonna do, which is hold their spawn. Um, this makes it very, very difficult for me to push on, on anyone. Like, you can see here, I'm really just trying to deal with this this 263 here. Luckily, we do have a Waffle who's going to get a really nice shot into his tank there, and he actually gets finished off. So now, I'm going to farm out this Waffle from the rear, because of course I did flank around, which is again a very smart play to do. You always want to be moving in this vehicle. If I was to just YOLO the 263 frontally, he would have enough traverse to where I wouldn't be able to get around him. So I made the play by kind of unspotting my tank and flanking him from a different angle there, and he got uh, a little bit bamboozled. And same with this Waffle here. We're going to get the kill into this guy. There we go. We're already at 3,200 damage. Um, I mean, you can see, like, having DPM on a light tank means you can just farm crazy amounts of damage very, very quickly here. So, you can see the 60 did shoot, so now I'm going to poke him safely, aim in my shell, and get a track shell into his tank there. He does pop Tungsten, which is uh, kind of weird. I don't know why he's doing that, but uh, oh well. See here. Oh man, imagine that hit. 60 does shoot. Um, okay. Well, in that case, I'm going to shoot at the BZ because the 60 is behind cover and the BZ isn't. So it's a three versus three. Hopefully, our Super Conk can kill their BZ. Yes. Oh, yes. What a gamer. <laughs> Bro actually picks up the kill with an ammo rack, too. Incredible stuff. And let's see here. I do track the BZ making him miss his shot, which is so funny. And I'm just going to get the kill before the uh, before the 60 is able to rush me here. And you can see 28 reverse speed is so dumb, bro. <laughs> like, we're actually able to get out of this situation before the 60 can even hit me. Bruh. <laughs> Absolute bruh moment. I am just going to take a shot here, though. Oh, or not. Or he's not going to shoot at me. Okay. Well, there you go. That's uh, 4,700 damage, almost 4,800 damage in our third and final battle. Um, insane stuff right there from the WZ. This tank has quickly become my favorite light in the game. If Well, one of my favorites. The Sheridan is my other favorite. But this tank is absolutely insane. If you don't have it already and you are into light tanks and into tanks that take a lot more skill to play that are still rewarding, this is a tank for you. It's absolutely amazing. I highly recommend everyone to pick this thing up. Uh, if you Again, if you are more skilled at the game and you like light tank gameplay. So... That's the WZ. Fantastic changes to this tank. I'm very happy about them. And uh, for any of you out there who are not yet subscribed to my channel, I highly recommend you do so as it's a fantastic way to support my content and stay up to date when I post videos almost daily. And with that, I will see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.